I remember that moment like it was yesterday. We just made a deal that she would try it for a month and if after that month she liked it, she'd stay. And that's how it happened. One month and she was hooked. Yeah. And suddenly I'm at the Olympic Games and I don't know how it happened. <laughs> G'day! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2010 Vancouver Olympic Winter Games and the first day of speed skating competition here at the beautiful Richmond Olympic Global. Nothing compares to the Olympics. Oh, I do. I pitch myself and just, I can't believe that I'm actually here. I came to an ice training and, and she looked like an ice skater. I'm like, whoa, what have you been doing? Yeah, I guess, I guess it's just in my blood. I've always kind of been a talented skater. Holy crap. Well... She definitely has a lot of potential. If you, if you love something and you want things really well, then you can achieve a lot with talent. And that, uh, that there is talent in Australia, no doubt about it. Yeah, like a year ago I had to go really slow for her to be able to keep up with me, and uh, now I have to go a lot to be able to keep up with her. That's, that's a funny experience, but it's, uh, it's good. You know, it quickly became obvious that we just had the most supportive and amazing group of people. And yeah, Sophie really impressed me too, just like the other skaters on the Australian team. But I think she's going to kick ass at the Olympics. Uh, that's hard because she just keeps improving so much for a race that's I think, you know, she could have a result that could just pull people away. You know, four months ago, we're two and a half seconds ahead of me. Now I'm getting within a second of them. So, I'm just that little bit closer to them, then I think my job is done. I think she can do it. I'm ready to break and mix it up with the A grade girls. I'm sick of mucking around with the B grade. And training would suggest that that is possible. Man, that girl's fast. <laughs> it's important to just skate at the Olympics and give it your best try. As far as a training group go, I think we are the luckiest sport in the world. Um, yeah, I'm actually really impressed. I've never seen a team improve that fast before. And this is your reward for being seven times world champion as an inliner and no one knowing about it. So there you have it, laid before you, plain and true. I guess now it comes down to you, the only person in control of your own path. Just remember how far you've come, and know that in the aftermath, we are always behind you. Though many of us didn't make it through, you must fly, like a bird, a swift, and we will be the wind beneath your wings. And your satisfaction with a good performance will be our gift. But my words are not enough to lift you through this reckoning. So recall a memory you should jog from the ceremony's opening. Let these words clear from your mind the fog of nerves and sharpen your senses and give you the perspective you need. Each life unravels differently and experiences are what make up the colors of life's tapestry. We are the true north, strong and free. And what's more, is that we didn't just say it, we made it be. Good luck, Sophie. Go get them.